Mrs. He, I know that you're He Tsai's mother, but have you ever wondered if your daughter is happy or not? And what she really wants? If you want to make a woman happy, you can't do it with empty words. You do it with daily actions. I hope you can give me a chance to prove that I can make her happy. Mom? Listen. I think I should go. I'll let you two talk. Ma'am, goodbye. Listen to me. I'll never agree to let you be with that man. Mom, don't get worked up. I'm not with him. <laughs> That's my girl. I knew my daughter. My precious baby girl is too smart to fall for him. Am I right? Now I'm relieved. I just wanted to warn you. Don't hold it against me. All right. I know what I'm doing, Mom. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about me. Okay, I have I'm not work worried. To do. Explain this. There's nothing strange about me being in that cabin. It's within my area of competence. Then explain to us why you were not in the edited video, but in the original footage, you were there right after Dinkai left the anchor cabin. Uh, okay, but I can't... I mean... Why, why are there even two different videos? Maybe there's a glitch or something. Let me explain that to you, Alan. You went into that anchor cabin right after Dinkai left, and you did something in there. After that, someone hacked into the security system and deleted the footage showing you went in there. To make it look consistent, frames from later footage were spliced in, which left a frame skip in the footage from that day. Okay, but that, that that's really strange. That's, that's just impossible. I mean, not everybody can just log into the monitoring system of the ship. You're right. Not everyone can log into the local area network of the ship, unless that person comes from within. Uh, uh, uh. You infected the security system with a virus you downloaded from the internet. Th this is clearly some sort of mistake. Th th that's happened here. I, I, I don't know what to say. It's a mistake. You don't have to say that again, Alan. I'm so disappointed in you. You don't deserve to be a sailor. Okay, well, I acted on impulse. You have, you have to believe me. I didn't want to hurt anybody. I declare. The removal of Alan Kidd from his position immediately. And I'll hand this over to the Maritime Bureau when we get back to Shanghai. I want to speak with Alan alone. Please leave us. What do you want now? to laugh at me? If Hashmi hadn't spotted it, what you did would have remained unknown forever. I had a feeling from the beginning that someone was behind this. You managed to fool Derek, you fooled Dinkai, but you didn't fool me. Your goal was simple. You wanted to get rid of Dinkai, your strongest rifle, once and for all, right? To make sure you'd win. You tried to get Olsen on your side and gain his support. But you failed. So out of desperation, you framed Dinkai. Alan, am I right? Yeah, you're right. But so what? Don't tell me you never thought about removing Dinkai from the game for good. Dinkai was my strongest rifle. But I would never stoop that low. Just so I could win. 
Congratulations. Right now, you're the only candidate left in the competition. Do you think it makes me happy to get promoted this way? You and I are the same kind of person. We just care about the results. The Asian talent program proposed by Mr. Tong has never won over headquarters. You're the only one left who's still fighting to keep it around now. I'm aware of that. There's one thing you have to admit. The sea is not a place that you Chinese can control and safeguard. I know you're capable, and I know Ding Kai is capable too, but you can't beat this game. You and I are pawns, that's all. Alan, I like you, I do. But whatever your motivation was, it doesn't justify what you did. I hope you reflect on this. Goodbye. <clears throat> it's been a while. Indeed. You started a new career. But you can still visit us. We are friends, aren't we? Mr. Tong, truth is, I missed you guys a lot. But I was afraid I might disturb your work. No worries. Um, they say you are now teaching at the university. Yeah. Oh. So, do you want to come back? Hmm. Ding Kai, the reason I asked you to meet is to tell you this. We found out what happened in the anchor cabin. It was Alan who sneaked into the anchor cabin after you left that day and sabotaged the equipment. He hacked into the security system so he could tamper with the surveillance footage. He cut the footage of him entering the cabin, but he didn't expect that Hashimi would notice something strange. When she was watching the footage, we then realized that it had been spliced. Now that the truth has come to light, finally, the company has fired Alan and had his license revoked. Dinkai, you were innocent. If you're willing, you can come back anytime and resume your post. Dinkai, what happened back then caught us off guard and it ruined your career. I came here to apologize on behalf of the company. We failed to discover the truth and made you suffer. You can't possibly understand what I've been through after I left. That's a lot to take in. I need some time to think. Of course. I can imagine the despair you must have felt when you were forced to leave the ship. You know the Chinese market. Please consider this offer. We really need you. Morning. You always come right on time. <laughs> Tian Yue has already prepared your breakfast for you. One Americano and a sandwich. Hey, Tian Yue! Hey, coming! Let me, let me. I like your lipstick today. <laughs> Congratulations, Chief Officer. How do you know about this? Fair told me. 
Are you planning to go right back? What's wrong? Are you sad you won't be able to see me every morning? I don't read into things. How accurate is my interpretation? Way off. Do you think I should go? Go back to the ship? Of course you should. Isn't it your dream to stay on the ship and keep all the passengers safe? What I just asked has nothing to do with my dream. What I want to know is, if you want me to go back to the ship. Me? But I've already answered that. You know what I mean. You're a grown man. You don't need my opinion. But I want you to be a part of my future choices. Every decision I have to make. But I don't know much about your work. But you know me. You have a long way to go. Hurry or you'll be late. You should go. Come on. Tia, what's holding you back? We've been through so much together, and I know exactly what I want and whom I want to be with right now. But both of us have to want this. Please give me an answer. I'll wait. Hello? Uh, oh, okay. Two Americanos. Uh, oh, yeah, I heard you, sure. Uh, okay, yeah, bye. Mr. Ding, since you started teaching here, all the students have made such tremendous progress. How did you do it? What method did you use to make them listen? <laughs> when you really get to know the students, you realize that they're smart. I think the most important thing is to reach out and connect with them. <laughs> the kind of charisma you've exhibited is something the older teachers like me don't possess. But we're learning. I chose to invite you out for a walk instead of talking inside. Don't you think I'm already making progress? <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you, sir? You need something from me? Your probationary period is over, and you'll be granted permanent status now. A full-time lecture? Yes. But I'm not fully qualified to... That's not a problem. During your time here, you've proved to us you're an excellent teacher. What we value most is the ability to inspire and encourage the students, to explore new areas. In my opinion, educational background alone can't decide a teacher's performance. So I've asked my superiors to make an exception and give you a full-time position. I've already submitted all the materials. Dean Pan, could you please give me a few days time to think about this. Time to think? Dinkai, I'm fully aware of your capability. To be honest, college teachers nowadays prefer to spend more time on their research than their students. That is their own choice. But I know that what we need most are teachers who are also devoted to teaching their students, especially undergraduates who want to go further in the maritime field. They need teachers like you. I believe in you. And I think your students believe in you, too. Dean Pan, thank you for your trust in me. But... I really need some time to think. Good morning. My name is Shy Shy. Shy Shy. 
More than two-thirds of the students have signed it already, in hopes that you'll stay and keep teaching them. Since the majority want you to stay, I think I will give you another chance. Young people like you are so... What about young people? So cute. Which one is thicker, your skin or a steel plate? Your skin. Your skin. Your skin. Your skin. Your skin. Let's call it a tie. <laughs> Every young Chinese seaman sailing across the sea will see the light you've lit for them, and that light will guide them. They'll then be able to overcome every obstacle along the way. I will too. You're just unwilling to give up on your dream and let go, right? We all make mistakes. As long as you can learn from your mistakes, you can get through anything. You can always start over again. Captain. Hey, so great to see you before I leave China. Where's your wife and daughter? Ah, you know girls and getting ready, so I just came for a cup of coffee. Would you like a drink? No, no thanks. I went to see Mr. Tong yesterday. He spoke about you. What are you hesitant about? I used to think if I was given a chance to go back, I'd be totally thrilled. I don't know why, but this offer makes me sad. Trust crisis? Are you unsure about getting back to the ship? Am I right? I know trust is difficult to win back once it's lost, but I believe it's stronger when it's regained. A determined mind can rebuild bridges. But I heard the Asian Talent Reserve Program will probably be cancelled soon. What would a Chief Safety Officer do? Be responsible for the safety of the ship, discover and fix safety hazards, and make quick decisions when emergencies occur to protect the ship and all of the passengers. So, will you lead the Asian Talent Reserve Program out of trouble? You put yourself in danger to save my life at that vital moment, and you save so many people in the storm. You remind me of someone. Who? A younger version of me. I was so fearless, afraid of nothing, and there was no difficulty I couldn't overcome. Dinkai, I know what the ocean means to you. It's far beyond any ordinary success. But I have to tell you, if you want to safeguard your ship and protect more people, you have to be the captain. Do you want to go back on the ship? I do. Then off you go. Hopefully you'll be wearing a different uniform when I see you on the ship. I'll try my best. Captain. Thank you for your kindness and encouragement. You can do it. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You want to quit? Yes. It's so sudden. We were just talking about your future at the school. Here's the thing, Dean. Royal Cruises is going through a difficult time. My mentor and my friends there really need me now. I have to go back to the ship. I've thought about this. It wasn't an easy decision for me to make. You should know. You're throwing away a rare opportunity. Dean Pan. I know my resignation is a betrayal of your trust. I'm sorry. Then, will you come back after the crisis is over? I understand. I'll explain to the school. Dean Pan, 
I asked you out today, not just to talk about my resignation. There's another thing I want to discuss with you. Another thing? What's up? You see, Royal Cruises has started an important program called the Asian Talent Reserve Program. But they've encountered many bottlenecks, and a major problem is that they can't recruit enough Chinese employees in a short period of time. So I'm thinking, maybe we can do something. You can talk to the school, and I'll talk to the company. Let's see if we can't strike up a sort of partnership to encourage Marine Time University graduates to join Royal as full-time employees. I've been thinking about this for a while. To be honest, I've been looking for a chance to approach the major cruise companies to hire our grads. To unfortunately, I haven't been able to put this idea into action yet. What you just said really makes my heart happy. You're saying you'll support this idea? Yes. I'll go draft a cooperation proposal. You can give it personally to Royal. Thank you, Dean Pat. I should thank you. Professor Ding! What are you doing here? It's not like we'll never see each other again. Um... I'm not happy. Because I'll miss you. Do you still remember that I promised you something very important? Of course I do. Then I'll be waiting for you on the ship. As our new intern. Okay. Work hard. Professor Ding! Professor Ding! Professor Ding! Professor Ding! Who is it? It's Mr. Wong. Annie. What are you doing here? I came to see Mr. Tom. He's in the study. Okay. Hey, Ziyang. It's Mr. been Tom. a while. What have you been busy with these days? There's something I want to talk to you about. What is it? I heard HQ is making personnel transfers. Do you think that worries me? What headquarters is doing right now? Well, they say they're just sending senior employees to explore emerging markets. But if you ask me, they're trying to isolate you by separating you from those you trust. Hmm. HQ has reasons for everything they do. Royal wouldn't be what it is without you. Given your ability, connections, resources, etc. You could work anywhere. Mr. Tom, just say the word, and I'll follow you wherever you choose to go. Just what are you trying to say? <sighs> to be honest, I have already approached Ban Weijin. They're more than willing to have someone like you join the company. <sighs> Dummy. You're not helping me. You're pushing me into a lake of fire. <laughs> I didn't review your identity or anything. I just did a bit of asking. <sighs> it's a small circle. They could easily figure out who you were referring to. At a critical moment like this, if HQ hears about this, they'll start doubting my loyalty, and then I'd have to resign. Don't worry about that. I was very careful. And I'm sure no one will connect it to you. I understand why you did it. You meant well. If you have a better place to go, I won't try to stop you. It's not like that. I like it here. 
And I'm not thinking about leaving. Like what I said. I'll follow you. Wherever you go. Will you? Wang Zan, you're very smart. You step forward when you should, and you retreat when the situation is unfavorable. However, being too smart is good and bad. Here, Dad. Okay. How about we talk about this later? I have things to do now. Annie can keep you company and entertain you, yeah? You and I should talk. Okay. Sit down. Are you investigating Blue Star? I am. I've told you that before. I'm not talking about before. I've discovered that you went abroad recently to investigate the Blue Star case, and have obtained key evidence that proves the ship was transporting illegal goods. Why are you bringing this up? Just stop denying it, okay? This is footage of you at the police station. It isn't me. Will you stop lying to my face? I know that you won't believe me even if I explain. Right. I can connect the dots myself. You're doing this in order to become staff captain. The evidence you have is your bargaining chip, and you'll use it at the right time. Your target is someone who's connected to Blue Star, right? All right. I don't want to explain. You wouldn't believe me even if- Just admit the truth. <laughs> this is your flight itinerary. I've learned the whole process of cracking a case just to get to the bottom of this. Are you still denying it? <sighs> well done. That's the ending I know and love. What's the hell? I think everything between us will be over after you walk out that door today. But I still want to tell you, the reason that we were together was because both of us like to win. Both of us know the direction we're going in and both of us share the same desire and ambition. You think I don't want to win? But you're going way too far just to win. Winning is not everything. Take this back. You should go. It's been hard. For both of us lately. When everything is settled, 
I hope I'll still have the chance to put this on your hand. Come in. Mr. Tang. Ding Kai. Welcome. Welcome back to Royal. Thank you. <laughs> you did me a huge favor by agreeing to come back. Oh? Please sit down. I always admire your meticulousness and attention to detail. It's so good to have you back. Annie and I were discussing something, and I'd like to hear your opinion. Of course. Okay, I'll cut to the chase then. Can you think of a person who's able to sail a ship bigger than Dreamland of the Ocean to the port of Shanghai? I'm afraid I don't understand what you're saying. For now, the biggest cruise ship in the world is the Ark. And HQ has made New York her home port. You mean it's about to set sail? That's right. They were also considering making Shanghai the ship's home port. But they changed their minds. Because the procedures would be complicated, and they were not sure if the Chinese market could support the development of a new route. So in the end, we lost out to New York. Mr. Tong, mm? to be honest, the size and weight of that ship far surpassed the dreamland of the ocean. Mm. So I think that HQ actually made the right decision. For now. But changing their minds is your first task now that you're back. I'll need you and Hathaway to lead the maritime department and work with marketing to make Shanghai the ship's home port. Mr. Tong, I'm afraid... You're afraid I'm giving you a mission impossible, right? They're busy preparing for the ship's maiden voyage in New York. And HQ has spent millions to book a billboard in Times Square, announcing its maiden voyage abroad. Uh, what's more, they will start selling tickets shortly. I stayed up all night and think that we still have a chance to beat New York. Take a quick look at this and go find Hathaway at HQ. You'll handle the technical aspects. I believe in you. You can do it. Don't look at me. I'm busy too. I need to collect enough data to convince HQ that they can gain as much profit from China as they can from New York, right? Jinkai, do you know why I insist on staying with Royal instead of leaving now? Why is that? What I care about is the cruise ship industry in China. Of all the cruise lines, only Royal Cruises has the vision to explore the Chinese market. I hope that, through my personal efforts, I can help China catch up with the rest of the world soon. That is exactly why I made the Asian Talent Reserve plan, so we can use the ARC to facilitate the whole program. Mr. Tong, I understand. I'll do everything I can. Me as well. <laughs> you need to give it your all if you want to win. What you're holding in your hand is the future of China's cruise ship industry. All right, Mr. Tang. There's another thing I want to talk to you about. Mm. This cooperation proposal was drafted by the Maritime University. Please have a look. Actually, the university has always wanted to send their top students at regular intervals to come to work for our company. I think this kind of cooperation is what the Asian Talent Reserve program needs, right? Yes, this is an excellent suggestion. If we can build a partnership with them, it will not only save the Asian Talent Reserve Plan, but also boost the development of the industry here. This proposal was written by Dean Pan himself, and I can tell from his phrasing that they're eager to work with us. Oh, Jin Kai, is it possible to introduce this Dean Pan to me? I'd like to talk to him. Mm -hmm. 
Come in. Still burning the midnight oil. Yeah. Have some juice. Hmm. So how's it going? Hmm. It's almost done, but I think I'll need more data to support my argument. The best way is to consult someone professional. So, do you have friends working in the tourism? You can ask them for help. I think I might know the right person. Hmm. Then just. Okay, go to bed. I can handle the rest myself. Don't stay up too late. Okay. Hello, welcome. Hello. <sighs> Miss Chan, it's you. Tour guide Hu, it's been a while. Yes, indeed. To what do I owe the pleasure? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Any? Why are you here? I'm here to congratulate you two. You've started your own business so fast. <sighs> well, just doing something we like to pay the bills. What will you drink? It's my treat. Okay. Black tea, please. Sure. Where's the Yang? He didn't come with you? He is working. Actually, I came here because I need your help with something for the company. Hmm? What is it? Tourism stats. No problem. Ask away. <laughs> Here's the thing. Our company's just built the world's biggest and most luxurious cruise ship equipped with the most advanced facilities. And we want to make her the queen of all cruise ships. Now it's ready for her maiden voyage. Do you mean the Ark? You know it? I've been following updates in the tourism industry and saw the news. The ship hasn't even set sail yet, but everyone's talking about her. Right, and we want her to come to China now. Our goal is to make Shanghai her home port. But I heard that your company has already chosen New York as her home port. Yes, that's HQ's current plan for now, but we still have the chance to convince them to change their minds. So. Do you have details about China's tourism industry? Oh, right. We've been making a detailed analysis of the domestic travel market. Perhaps you'll find it useful. This is perfect. Now I'm really starting to think we'll win. This analysis you just mentioned will definitely help convince HQ that Shanghai is their best choice. Really? Yes. We need your help. Uh, but I'll need a night to finish it. No problem. <sighs> Looks like our Wonder Woman is ready to shine again. <laughs> Captain Hathaway went to our headquarters in Miami. I'm going to be the acting captain for this voyage. So, in order to ensure a successful cruise, I expect that each of you will work well with each other. So if there's nothing else, uh, you can go back to your positions and keep in touch. Zayang, what's wrong? If you want to say something, sit down and speak. I want to talk about the Blue Star incident. The Blue Star? What about it? You were one of the survivors back then, right? That's right. The ship exploded and sank all of a sudden. I was lucky and survived. Is there something hidden beneath the surface? What are you trying to say? I've discovered some key evidence to prove that someone caused the accident. I know who they are, and I know what they did back then. Also. This screw here is getting rusty. And this window glass would probably break if we encountered a storm. This lamp shouldn't be here. It's heavy on the top, so it's easy to fall down. That's really dangerous. Remember to replace it tomorrow. Okay. No one expected you to encounter a storm. Go! 
Dinkai's father did not escape and drowned. Everybody knows this. What else do you know? Forever, each other. 